Thank you for the gracious introduction. Good morning to all. President Anthony Dizam of SICAP. Asek Dan Taide of the Department of uh, Agriculture. A good friend of the association and a good friend of mine, the President of Pampi. Boy to employ, and of course, his uh, beautiful wife. The president of the Puerto Princesa Chamber of Commerce, Eric Jayen, and the rep of the Puerto Princesa Mayor, Melissa Makasaez, the officers and members of the Cold Chain Association of the Philippines, guests. Friends, my co workers in government, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Yayan for giving us a brief about Puerto Princesa and Palawan. The last time I was in Puerto Princesa, when I was tasked to introduce the Vice President of the United States of America. Madam Kamala Harris, when she visited the uh, Coast Guard detachment in Puerto Princesa and a fishing village. But I am more often in a particular municipality of Palawan that is part of Palawan and part of the Philippines. That's in Bangasa Island the municipality of Kalayaan. I'm always there being a member and a head of the maritime sector of the National Task Force for West PPC. Allow me to convey my heartfelt greetings and congratulations to all of you, members of the Cold Chain Association of the Philippines as you celebrate your 22nd anniversary. It seems like yesterday we convened the 21st anniversary celebration in Ligaspi City last year, wherein we discuss key issues and direction of the association in line with the country's overarching goals for the cold chain industry. Truly, it is an honor for me to be part of this discussion and celebration of SICAP's invaluable contribution to the cold chain and logistics, strengthening existing partnerships and forging new ones for the holistic betterment of your industry. I would also like to commend the organizers of SICAP for your work and effort to put this event another memorable one. I can see that this year's attendance is bigger than last year. With the 240 attendees, that's a record-breaking attendance. I would tend to believe that next year, baka mas marami pa. For 22 years, SICAP has been steadfast in carving the importance of the cold chain industry, achieving national development through years of exhibiting consistent expansion and expertise and partnerships and embodying excellence and commitment towards the industry. I have been a first-hand witness of SICAP's growth and resilience throughout the years. I have seen how the association managed not just to survive, but rather thrive amidst the challenges and the changing times. SICAP has always been and always be a huge part of my professional experience especially during the years when I was still navigating through logistics and culture. And even now, 
that I'm already wearing my government hat. All these working experiences with SICA made me realize even more the pivotal role of the cold chain in our national development. The country's cold chain industry is projected to grow significantly in the next years to come, especially with the growing numbers of attendants, I'm sure this industry will be vibrant. And as we anticipate growth, I would say tremendous growth, a vital step for us is to align. When I say us, government, that means government, is to align our goals and strategies with you. <coughs> Not only with you, but also other industries such as supply chain, infrastructure, and logistics in order to be more responsive and resilient. We in the government sector is actively doing our part to make this happen. Through this direction, the national government agencies, including the Department of Transportation, the Department of Trade and Industry, and specifically the Department of Agriculture, represented here by ASEAN, we're working closely to create sustainable master plans and frameworks for more efficient service in logistics for all Filipino stakeholders across the country. Or rather, not just logistics, but specifically for food logistics. In the DOTR, especially my sector, the maritime sector, we remain focused on continuous construction and rehabilitation of social, tourism, and economic port projects, as well as farm-to-market ports, I call it ports, not roads, to enhance the mobility and connectivity of our people which eventually translates to lower logistics costs and shipping fees as well as economic growth of these remote islands. In fact, we have implemented a total of 402 port projects from 2015 to present. Around 250 of these ports have already been completed and we are now eyeing to finish 200 more ports by year 2028. On top of this massive seaport infrastructure, we are also making active efforts to positively impact supply chain and logistics operations. Regulatory environment is a determining factor for the performance of vital industries. That's why the OPR is also joining initiatives to simplify government processes. We are working together with various government agencies, including the EPI, Bureau of Customs, and the Anti-Red Tape Authority to harmonize industry networks and make our country competitive in the global marketplace. Moreover, we are eyeing for the immediate signing of the executive order for the establishment of the Office of for Multimodal Transport and Logistics within the DOTR, as this will facilitate the integration of all modes of freight transport. We also consider as a major accomplishment is the finalization of the updated 10-year Maritime Industry Development Plan. This is our master plan and our roadmap with regards to maritime. We want to achieve an integrated and globally competitive maritime by 2028. And last February 8, President Marcos Jr. has finally signed Executive Order Number 55, adopting 
the 10-year MIDP or what we call the Maritime Industry Development Plan. With a vision in mind in achieving a strong and reliable Philippine merchant fleet that addresses sea transport requirements of the archipelago in the support of national development agenda, the updated MIDP is a holistic approach that encourages synergy among industry key players, both from private and government sectors. I am also very glad to share with you a milestone through the Public Service Act, which allows now foreign investments in our domestic shipping. The enactment of this law will ensure competition and efficiency in our domestic shipping service, eventually leading to the, to the reduction of freight costs. In addition, this enables international carriers such as Merce Klein, CMAC, GM and others to go directly to local based ports to avoid double handling and double freight costs making logistics even more efficient and responsive. On the other front of our maritime sector is the Philippine Coast Guard. We are now preparing our shopping list towards its modernization. Let me also brief you on the ongoing projects of the Department of Transportation although these are outside of the maritime sector, but we are proud of what we're currently doing and accomplishment so far. As everybody knows now, we have on record time completed the procurement and award of the transfer and operational management of NAIA. We are constructing a lot of airports with includes, I think, even some rehabilitation of the airports here in Palawan. We're doing the North-South Commuter Railway, which connects us for the period under this administration from Palamba to Clark. We have the Metro Manila Subway, Phase 1, which will open by 2027. We have the rehabilitation of MRT3. Then we're building the United Grand Central Station to connect LRT1, MRT3, and MRT7. We're expanding LRT2 for the West Extension. We're building MRT4. LRT1 Cavite, Cavite extension. Maybe you're asking why all in NCR? Of course, we also have others. We're about to start the Cebu Port International. We have the PNR South Long Hall. We have the Mindanao Rail Project. And we have various projects under the road sector wherein we are building our tall, tall, tall highways. As I always say, this is a crucial time for our collective and consistent efforts to build, build better, build more. Again, thank you for SICAP for being an important part of this national advocacy Thank you for the light you set through your years of service. And I wish more success to the industry that will radiate not only within you, but also in our entire country as well. My congratulations to the association. Thank you everybody. Have a nice day.